Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm continuing the Q&A series with Game & Go. Hello Game & Go, how's your day gone? It's going good. Good to hear. So I guess without further ado, we'll get right on into the questions here. Um, first question I have for you here is, what inspired you to start making ERLC content on YouTube? Pretty much, it was a combination of the content creators at the time, and the fact I had a little too much free time on my hands. I basically just started making videos on the game and uploading them. Um, how did you discover ERLC and what made you decide that you want to focus on it over other games on Roblox? I discovered ERLC just by browsing on my Roblox browser like five years ago. And it wasn't really just that being the only game. I made videos on like five three other games as well including ERLC but the Liberty County videos they were like the most engaging and like they would do the best and they were actually pretty fun so I just stuck with those they're very easy to record too that's how I ended up choosing like making those videos on ERLC so with your channel you focus more on doing role plays on your channel um can you kind of tell me like step by step or just a brief explanation of how you make a typical ERLC video? Well, oh, actually, I've got one starting. I've got like a recording starting 30 minutes. I just send an announcement down to everyone that is in my recording crew. Basically, join into the game, join to ERLC. We have an idea. Give some people some roles and we're going to film it. It's not really a complete script. Whatever happens in the video pretty much happens. So, Basically, for instance, one of my most popular videos, some crazy glitch happened in the middle of it, and it caused the video to do really, really good. So, it's just unscripted moments like that. That that contributes when I'm recording those videos. But that's pretty much how I record them. So, obviously, when, you, when you're making so much content throughout the years, you start to run out of ideas. How do you keep... Um, fresh ideas, or do you just like take um, feedback from the community in that sense? Oh, mainly it's just you gotta take some shower thoughts and try to make it into idea. You can think of, let's like, some think of a random word like an aeroplane. Like obviously, I've done a few interesting airplane videos in ERLC, which probably should not have been done. But for example, you could just like an airplane crash lands. On highway or something which is a major call now but like before the major calls happen you would just think of something like that and you'd have to try to edit it in now it's kind of a mixture of the both I take suggestions from the community but I'm still trying to think of some ideas on my own with creating content what are some of the biggest challenges you face as a hero so youtuber burnout for sure especially when I uh, started I took a break for two months and I lost all of my viewers. I made another video, I got like 20 views compared to my 2000s before. So burnout, but I've learned how to control it. That was the major one. I've just learned how to control it now, though. Um, next question I have for you here. Um, how do you handle such setbacks like that or negative feedback from your community? Only thing you can do with the negative feedback is to just improve on what was what the negative feedback was. And it's not really let it get to you, because if you let it get to you, then it's just going to burn you out more. Like, if you think of it as, oh my gosh, everyone's hating on me, my content sucks, you're not going to get anywhere. You got to think of it like, okay, well, I need to improve on this and work on this so they can like my videos. They actually think it's good. So, yeah, I take the negative feedback and think of ways to improve on it. With having a bigger community now, how do you stay connected with your fans and the ERLC community? The easiest way to do this is to just go onto Discord and yap in my community server or yap in the PRC server. I I normally yap like 50 messages a day in PRC and I'm trying to get my community yap a little bit higher, but I just like to dabble into like everyone's servers. Like I'll go into OMB's or Officer John's server, put a few messages in there, just... You know, chat with the community a little bit. That's how I interact with them. Um, do you have a interaction with a fan or a viewer that stands out the most to you? It's a notable fan. These are the weirdest ones as well. Those fans, 
that join my game and start using exploits in like fly me around the map at 300 miles an hour which i do not condone exploiting at all but um those stand out the most because uh they're hacking and they're getting in the stream hacking on stream that's like uh it's interesting definitely uh interesting notable weird fan interaction i have sometimes it's not too often though it's just like maybe one every two months or something but yeah those are the most interesting fans fan interactions right there um now you're growing bigger and bigger as we speak um how do, how do you think or what do you think the key to your success was when you were smaller and like what was that big jump to kind of get you from being getting a couple thousand views a video to getting tens and twenties of thousands of views the best way and the way i got up there is so first of all have your videos ready to go viral you can't have a video that has its quality from like 2006 and you expect to grow off of it you can but it would probably be slower i try to have my videos like okay if this video does really good it leaves a good impression and they'll actually come back if you have bad videos like you can be consistent but if you have bad videos what's the point if you have a video that youtube starts to pick up and starts to starts to show off more if the people who see the video don't come back, you're not going to grow from it. You need to have them come back and watch the next video you upload. That's how you actually grow. And the key time to do this is the summer. Oh, my gosh. Upload 30, 30 videos every day in the summertime. Obviously not 30, but during the summer when there's a ton of hype for updates, you just need to hop onto the trends, and that will help you grow as well. That's when everyone's free. They can just watch your videos and throw you forward a lot quicker. When you, were, when you were a smaller YouTuber, did you ever expect your channel to get this big? You no, know, yes and not really. I never really, like, guessed what my channel would get to. I just said, okay, I'm going to start doing this, and I'm going to see where I get to. I never said, okay, I'm going to try to get to a million or something, or, like, try to get to a thousand. I don't think I've really ever set those goals. I mean, I'll set a goal, like, now that I'm at 50k, my next goal is 75k. When I was at like 100 subscribers, my next goal was 200. Like, I never really shot for anything crazy. Like, I never really had an overall goal, and I didn't really care how big it went back then. So, I wouldn't really say so. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't know how to answer that question. So, your LC updates pretty consistently, or have it been updating pretty consistently? How do you stay on top of? updates in ERLC and how do they affect the content you create? If there's an update incoming and the community knows about it, you need to try to jump on those updates because it's relevant, it's all new, you can make videos with those updates and you can pretty much assume that it's gonna be good. Even if it's not a full update, you can still do something with it. Because if you look at like OMB's channel, he can upload an update review and he gets like a hundred thousand views. Because people are always trying to get relevant information about an update. So if an update comes out, if you're pretty quick but actually have good information in those videos, you can do pretty well with those updates. It drives a lot of hype and engagement. So I'd say just try to stay on top of the updates and make the content that you could with those updates. For any smaller YouTubers that are just starting a channel or have been focusing on content for a year or two now do you have any specific advice for somebody like that who wants to start a youtube channel on your lc or roblox games if you're trying to start a content if you're trying to start making content in 2024 almost 2025 i'd say it's quite saturated like there's a lot of people trying to make content so you need to do something that stands out like something that gets you forward like you for example you're doing these interviews which which some of the people you're interviewing, they already have a fan base, which can go and watch the interview, which drives attention to you. Like, you need to do something out of the box. Because some people, they'll just upload RP videos with zero subscribers starting today and wonder why they're not getting anywhere. Well, there's already 30 other RP videos people can watch. So you need to bring something new to the table and so you can get to the point so where you can just, like, post along and keep growing. Yeah, that's definitely been the hardest thing for me is trying to figure out what other YouTubers are not doing because there's obviously plenty of ERSAM content creators who make videos day in and 
they make they upload every day and it's yeah more it's more of like a side hobby for me because i do many other things than just create um content um when creating content even if you're smaller or as a bigger youtuber how do you, how important do you think consistency is consistency it's i would always say that's the most important thing to focus on if you're trying to grow but being consistent really just depends on what you can do if you can try to find something that works for you, if you can find a schedule that works for you, whether it's uploading two times a week, stick to two times a week. Try not to go off of that. But I'd say if you, like, miss an upload, I don't think it really hurts you. If you miss multiple uploads upon uploads upon uploads, yeah, you're going to get kicked out. You're going to get booted by YouTube, and they're going to stop showing your videos if you're inconsistent like crazy. But... If you take a day off, like, you literally cannot make a video. Just don't make the video. You're not going to die off of it. It wouldn't hurt you too bad. So I'd say consistency, it's kind of important, but it shouldn't be the only thing you're looking at. It shouldn't be the only thing you're looking at. Um, Kind of going back to the fresh idea type thing, do you have any big plans for the future of your channel or any types of um projects you're working on? I mean, as of now, every summer, I've got a little bit of a tradition, which it does pretty well. I'm not saying what it is now because, you know, it's still meant to be a little secret. But normally, I put most of my big projects during the summertime. I'm not really doing films as often. You know, those can be big, big projects. But movies and films, they don't really perform good. It might just be for me, but they don't perform too good for me. So I don't know. It's like a lot of work in editing, but uh, I guess I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know actually. I um recently saw you were on Officer John's channel with a collab with OMB Gaming and them. Um, congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you. Um, couple last questions here. Besides EROC, um, are there any other Roblox games or genres you employ or you enjoy playing, or or creating content around on roblox on roblox or any other type of video games that you enjoy i mean if there's any other video games i enjoy i normally i, I couldn't imagine myself really making videos about it so i don't know i don't know what i would just talk about in the games that i'm playing so i had to make content on something other than elc it might be like maple county like another role play like a PTFS or something because those aren't really too hard to make roleplay videos on, but I don't know what I would talk about if I'm just sitting in a plane and a crash happens. I'd be like, oh no, plane's going down. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't really say so. I would not really say so. Um, last question I have for you here is how has YouTube and gaming influenced your life outside of content creation? YouTube has taken, well, it gives me something to do. It takes a lot of time, and it's a good and a bad thing because I'd rather be doing something productive instead of just doing nothing and just scrolling on TikTok or something, you know, because right now I'm talking to you instead of, you know, getting my extra hour on TikTok. So I guess it keeps me being productive and, like, working on my skills on trying to manage and juggle everything, which I think I'm doing pretty all right. So that's what I would say about that. Um, so that's all the questions I have for you here. Um, thank you for coming on. And um, I wish you luck the rest of this year. Trying to hit your goals for subscribers and all that. And again, uh, thanks for coming on. I hope you have success reaching your goals as well. All right. Thank you.